So the other kind of cover that I can do, instead of having a character here in the foreground, um, you can put one character up on top and the scene on the bottom. It doesn't work for every cover and it depends on which pictures you have. But for example, let's start with this one. And I'm going to move this down to the bottom. In the last one, what we were doing was removing the background from the, around the characters. In this one, we're going to do, need to do some blending. And so when you take another picture and you put it up on top, you're going to have to erase these hard edges so that the two pictures blend together well. There's a few ways to do this. The first, I can just take my eraser and make the eraser pretty big. And then just erase some of this down here. And then I'd probably also have to erase up here. You can see the, the hard line that's coming from the top of this picture. So I need to erase some of that going down. You need to get rid of the hard line so that the two blend well together. And then the other problem is these two pictures, they actually look OK together. But most pictures, you're going to have a very different color scheme and maybe also the texture isn't really going to fit so to make them fit better together you're going to want to add some overlay colors this background image i'm seeing this duplicate tree here so i'm going to add a layer style and a color overlay to make that background image just solid black that'll get rid of the duplicate so this layout, it's not so bad, but um, it's just, it doesn't really fit well together. And so there's a couple of things you could do. You could go to Windows and Adjustments. And I could add just some hue or saturation or color balance. This is like a whole layer that goes over everything. And then I could change the colors. But I really don't need to change the colors of both. I just need to change the colors of her to match this one a little bit more. I could also desaturate. Or I could put this where it's just covering up one and not the other one. So now if I put this where it's only affecting her, but not this background, I can change the colors until they match a little bit better. But that's not quite going to work. Um, so what I'd probably do is add a fill. I can go layer, new fill layer, gradient or solid color. And then I can just pick a color and choose my blending color or hue. And that's too strong, but I can make it more like this. 
And then I'm going to go back to my adjustments. I'm going to add a curves. And a brightness contrast. So now this is starting to look more like one cover, but to make it even better, I'm gonna add a texture layer. To add texture, you can just search for texture background. And you'll find all sorts of different texture backgrounds that you can use. So you just grab something like this that'll work and put it over everything to add a little bit of texture to both of those pictures. It's not quite going to work on this one, and I didn't wait for the full resolution to download. But it's good enough at this point that I could just finish off my text. And it's not a bad cover, even just like that. So that's one thing that you can do is blend the two layers together. In Photoshop, it's not that hard. I'd use the eraser tool. You can do the same thing with my online cover tool. I'll show you that in a bit. But I'm going to stop this video here.